my friend Jim here with JB's Big Adventure coming to you from Lake Chapala, Mexico. Today I've got an incredible video for you, another one. And this is all about how long did it take Barbara and I to make a decision to move here to Lake Chapala. But before I get to that, if you haven't already, I'd like to encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's fast, free, and easy to do. All you gotta do is go to the little red box in the bottom right hand corner and you're subscribed. And I know you wanna be a part of this community. Also go ahead and give us one of those thumbs up that lets other people know it's a great video to watch about retiring to Lake Chapala. All right, now to the good stuff. I might have should have done this uh, video back several months ago, but I, I didn't get to it because of the fact of some other videos I was working on that I thought I would actually come out first. But the question being, how long did it take Barbara and I to decide to come to Lake Chapala? So it all started April of 2021. Wow, it's almost two years ago. We've been here almost two years. <laughs> wow. Um, I was talking to a really good friend of mine, a really good friend. We'd been friends for like 30 years. He was a pastor. Um, he, knew, he knew I was a preacher's kid. And I had, he had mentioned he had spoken to somebody. I said, oh, what were you guys talking about? And he says, retiring to Lake Chapala, Mexico. I, and then he said, ahi And I said, ah, what? <laughs> we lived in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I've heard some Spanish words. I'd never heard the <laughs> name. So, uh, ahi I've since learned how to say it. But, uh, so he really encouraged us to come down. He knew the health challenges that I was dealing with. Everything. He knew that I was really struggling with severe depression. He knew I was dealing with severe, with also with PTSD, ADHD, and bipolar all at the same time. And he felt it would be a good idea for me to check Lake Chapala out. So he sent us a video, and it was a video. Uh, by someone here at Lake Chapala was just talking about living here. And we watched that a few times and I watched another time. You know, it, it turns out that I told Barbara that I would never move to Mexico. I'm a proud flag flying American. And I said that I would not move to Mexico. And then when Steve said, I hate Mexico, um, I didn't realize how divine it was at the time. So we tried to figure out how to get to IEE, Mexico, Lake Chapala, Mexico. And um, we called around to some places down here and we found someone that we could stay with that was from a church. And we are forever grateful to Ken and Linda for allowing us to stay in their home. They're incredible hosts, really appreciate them. They're special people here. And kind of opening their home to somebody they don't even know. And we've now become friends, so that's a good thing. Um, when we came down and we're here for eight days, we had no idea what we were to be looking for. Absolute nothing. We were with one realtor because we were looking for a place to rent. And then we, um, somebody showed us Birds of Paradise. They had a condo they were renting, but it was on the second floor. And we weren't looking for a second floor. And uh, we saw a couple of other places and one of them looked like paradise. We thought this is our house, $900. Two stories, two bedroom, two baths, had its own casita and a swimming pool. It was like paradise on earth, $900. And that would have taken the money that we were living in Albuquerque, New Mexico, that would just be replacing the rent. So if we were living and struggling in Albuquerque at $920 a month plus utilities, and we're going to come to IEHEAC, 
and spend $9,900. And I mean, we're not gaining anything. We're still living at the same amount of money on the outgo because all we're living on is one uh, social security check. So when we left, we really didn't know much of anything. And we only knew one thing out of all that. That in moving here, we can live on less. You know, when, when, when you're financially struggling, it isn't an easy thing. Because all you think about is the lack of what you don't have, and that is money. So we saw the opportunity about being able to live a life and be able to save a few hundred dollars a month. So we found a place online for $650 for a one-year contract, at least. And, um, and it was the same place that we saw when we were actually here in Lake Chapala back in April of 2021. It was that second story condo that we took a look at. And this, this we said, no, thank you. But this other one actually was a uh, bungalow, nobody above us and such. So here's how long it took us to decide to move. And it would be a good deal for us to move to Lake Chapala. By the time that we got on the plane, and I don't think the plane had been in the air long at all. We both looked at each other and it's like we both knew what we were thinking. That we were, we were going to move here. Um, there was things that we saw that really let us know we were coming to a better place. And so what we did was we got back to Albuquerque. We had two, we, we had a house before that we lost um, when I lost my job. And we um, had two 10 by 20 foot storage units. We took everything out of the storage units. We went through it and we found the things that we could not part with. In fact, we went and realized that I checked into different people about being able to help us move down and just thousands and thousands of dollars. And we didn't have it. So what we decided to do was bring down a trailer. It's a five by nine, five by eight U-Haul single axle trailer. Had to put a hitch on the back of our car. Um, my brother's a mechanic and he said the car's not made for this. So that was already some more high anxiety of us coming down. But so we did, we sold everything in one weekend. And I will tell you this, how in the world can somebody sell two 10 by 20 foot storage units, put it out in the front yard and be able to sell it all in one weekend and also sell our Honda Accord all in one weekend. Now, this is just an extra sideline here, and that is this. We sold everything in one weekend, Friday, Saturday, and a Sunday. And you know what is interesting? I know a lot of people sell everything to come down here, but you know what? I did a video of exactly what we did to sell everything in one weekend. And you know what? It's amazing. I've always learned that to be successful at something or be su successful doing something, find somebody who's done it successfully and follow in their shoes. There's two ways of learning, either from your mistakes and it's costly or from other people's mistakes. I will tell you, I've got a video I did. It's one of our first videos. And I think it's one of our lowest viewed videos. How we sold everything in one weekend, and it's one of our lowest viewed videos. I can't believe it. It's amazing when I when I think about it. So the things that we thought were important to us, we put into a trailer and came down. So how long was it? 
We literally moved here and got into our unit here at Lake Chapala in five weeks. Five weeks. We moved here in five weeks. Now, you might say, how did you do that? <laughs> so, I started looking some things up. And some of these things, I really got thinking about it after we had uh, uh, gotten back to the house or doing some, doing some additional searching. Here's what we found out. For one, Lake Chapala's weather is the number two best climate in the world, number two best climate in the world per National Geographic magazine. Number two climate, the number two climate in the world. Average 68 to 72 degrees a day, 365 days, and um, kind of like an eternal spring. We saw that we were going to be able to live better because we could live on less. And by living on less, we were able to have a more vibrant life and lifestyle. Also, we saw the beauty of living at the lake. We, we got taken down to the Malacan. And unbelievable. Fresh air, blue sky, beautiful lake. We could see it glistening in the sun. I'll never forget it. Um, also, this was a plus, and that was we were only, Lake Chapal is only a half an hour away from an international airport at Guadalajara. So you drive a half an hour to get to the airport, and within an hour and a half on the plane, you're in the States. Awesome. Awesome. Um, we checked into it, and it was affordable, world class healthcare. Most of the doctors speak English. Some are even trained in the U.S. And they really believe in holistic living here. They believe here in living a good life. We saw that, <laughs> I wrote down, that we would have a new lease on life. We could chillax. We could unplug. Literally just pace of life is slower. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We love the rich culture and we have embraced that culture. The friendly Mexican people, hardworking Mexican people, incredible food. Um, I thought I actually made a list of some things. Uh, the colors, the dances, the mariachi bands. Wonderful, wonderful. We also found out that we didn't, necess we didn't necessarily have to be able to speak fluent Spanish to be here. And we have found that to be correct. But I want you to know that isn't the ticket to not need to take Spanish. We are in their country. We are guests in their country. We need to know and learn their language. We don't need to expect them to speak English. We need to let them know that we speak Spanish. Not being entitled to thinking that they need to live the way that we live and they need to do the things we need to do. And like I've seen, I've seen so many times, Horns honking. Ah, ah, ah. And it's like, okay, where's that guy going to go? And I, I look and it's an expat honking the horn. And there is no way the people that are in front of them can move because there's a light that, that I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. Don't get me talking about that. Expats, we need to do a better job here in Mexico. We need to show how grateful we are to be able to be living in a place that's absolutely beautiful. 
absolutely beautiful. So we made a decision on the flight back to Albuquerque. And we moved here in five weeks. It's been an awesome time being here. I, I want to thank everyone. The emails that I receive, the comments that I get. Um, just about me being authentic. There's been a number of times when folks have come for my relocation service. They've gotten in the car and they've said to me, we don't feel like we're getting in the car with a stranger. We're getting in a car with a friend. I want you to know I care about you. I care about your experience here. I mean, I try to let folks know that when they land in Guadalajara, text me. I just like to know that you made it okay. I care. So for the large number of you, that have said that, that have shared that. I want you to know that I'm the same in person as I am on the channel. I really care about people, care about you and your experience here. So that's the reason I shared this video because I knew that somebody would watch it and say, how long did it take them? Some people it takes years, didn't take years for us. So, friend, I hope that's been helpful for you. Maybe some encouragement, maybe kind of give it a little bit of a kick in the butt. You know, why haven't you done it yet type thing. Um, so, so, friend, if you haven't already, I'd like to encourage you to go ahead and join the channel. Be a part. Subscribe to the channel. It's a great community. I know you want to be a part of it. It's fast, free, and easy to do. All you've got to do is go to the bottom right-hand corner. There's a little red box. Tap on it. You're subscribed. And you'll know when our next video comes out. Give us a thumbs up to let other people know it's a great video to watch about Lake Chapala. Stop by, say hi, ask a question, let us know of a video that you'd like to see. Make sure you hit the bell because that way you will be notified when, in fact, our next video comes out. You don't want to miss our next video. So, as always, thank you so much for supporting this channel and the community. Have an awesome day. We'll see you on the next video.